In this video, I'm going to be going over the basics of the division standard algorithm, which is also sometimes called long division. And I'm going to be showing uh, how and why long division works with uh, a place value chart as well uh, as the standard algorithm. And I'm going to be doing it step by step and kind of showing how the two are connected. So I'm going to be solving the problem 86 divided by 3. And I'm going to show uh, one step at a time what's happening when we're doing the standard algorithm and connecting it over to the visual place value chart. So uh, to start out, I'm going to write this problem in the standard algorithm form here. Uh, we have what looks like half of a rectangle. If I like filled in the rest, it would look like a rectangle there. But it's just half of a rectangle. The 86 is the dividend from the pr uh, problem, and the 3 is the divisor. 86 goes on the inside, and the 3 goes on the outside. So if I was showing this division with the place value chart, I would first need to represent uh, this number, 86, in place value disks. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now and put 8 dots in the tens place and 6 dots in the ones place. And the key to doing this division on the place value chart or on the standard algorithm is to start in the tens place first or the largest place value which in this case is the tens place. So I'm going to start on these eight tens over here. I'm going to go ahead and highlight these. Uh, let's use blue. The blue is a nice color. I'm going to highlight these. These are my eight tens right here. This is connected to this eight right here. And uh, I'm going to split this, uh, these eight tens, and I'm going to put them into groups of three. So I'm going to see if I can draw groups of three around the dot. So let's see how many groups I can make if I make groups of three. So here's a group of three right here. And here's a group of three right here. Uh, and I only have two left. And with, in this case, I can't really make another group of three. I can only make two groups of three with my eight tens. So to show what I just did on the place value chart on the standard algorithm, uh, what I do is I look at this 8 right here, because this 8 is, at, oh, that's the pen. I want the highlighter here. Let me erase this. So I look at this 8 right here, and that's connected to the 8 that's in our original problem and the 8 in the 8 tens disks in the place value chart. And so I asked myself this kind of the same question. How many groups of three can I make if I have eight tens? Well, from the place value chart, I saw that I could fit two. Okay. The next step is I need to think about, well, if I put uh, these, if I make these two groups of three tens, how many tens have I used? So over here, I see that I have uh, used six tens, one, two, three, four, five, six. And on my place on my standard algorithm, I show that by multiplying this two times the three, and then I write six down below. Okay? And now the fact that I have two tens left right here, I'm gonna show that by subtracting the eight tens I started with minus the six tens that I was able to put into groups, and I'm left with two tens these two tens right here that aren't in groups. So on the back to the place value chart, these two tens right here that I'm making even bigger now, uh, I can't divide them into three groups. So what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to actually need to break them apart. So I'm going to break this one apart here. And that's good. There's going to be 10 ones inside there. So I'm going to draw out 10 ones. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I've gotten rid of this 10. It's now these 10 ones right over here. Then I'm going to do the same with this 10 right here. I'm breaking that apart, and it's going to become 10 ones. So now I have 26 ones in my place value chart. I've split up my 10s into groups. I'm good with that. Now I just need to work with my ones. To show that breaking apart uh, on the standard algorithm, all I'm going to do is I'm going to bring down the 6 put it next to the two that I had from before, and now I have 26 ones. So this 26 is exactly the same as this 26 dots right over here. So since I have 26 now, what I can do is I can think in my head, well, how many groups of three can I make if I have 26 ones? 
on the place value chart, I would take this long process of drawing out all my groups of three, and I can do that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And if I count out my groups, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I can make eight groups of three. And so I'm going to write that I can make eight groups of three in the standard algorithm by putting an eight above. So to show how many that I was able to put into groups, which I am going to highlight right now in, let's use red. So these are all the ones that I was able to put into groups. These are the lucky ones. Okay, and I'm left with these two down here that have uh, nothing, no group to be in. So to show how many are in red, I'm going to multiply 8 times 3. And 8 times 3 is 24. And I subtract the amount that I had, 26, minus the amount that I was able to put into groups. And I have 2 left over. This 2 right here is connected to these two little extras that couldn't fit into a group. And since these two can't fit into any group, and we can't break down uh, these ones, or at least we can't right now, uh, this is going to be our remainder. So we get an answer of 28 remainder 2. So hopefully seeing the connection between the place value chart and a standard algorithm problem kind of helps you visualize and understand what's going on when we use the standard algorithm. Because even though the standard algorithm might not make the most sense at the moment, it is one of the uh, most efficient strategies to divide really large numbers. So getting to know the basics of it and understanding the process of how it works is going to be really helpful.